Here's what I want you to know about shampoo. It's probably the most commonly asked question, what shampoo should I use for my hair? Why doesn't my shampoo work on my hair? Which is the right one? Which is the best shampoo? Now it's kind of an impossible question to answer as a hairstylist, but I thought I would come and let you know all the things that I've learned about hair over the years and about the choice of shampoo and how that plays a role. The first thing I wanna say is beware of the shampoo that makes too many claims. If there is a shampoo that's promising to be magic and answer all of your problems, I can almost guarantee you it alone is not going to do that. Think about what the primary purpose of a shampoo is. It is to clean your hair, clean your scalp and reset your style for you to be able to work it again the next day. How can a shampoo do that as well as be anti-frizz, as well as repair your hair, as well as make your hair shiny or give your hair more volume? It can contribute to setting you up for all of those things, but it alone will not achieve that in the best possible way. Chemically, a shampoo literally is lifting away particles of dirt, debris, oil, and buildup from your hair and scalp. In order for it to do that effectively, it has to contain surfactants, which are kind of what you're seeing lather up and lifting things up away from the hair. That's what makes the hair clean. Now, if that is lifting something away from your hair to clean it, how can it also deliver something effectively to your hair to nourish, repair, moisturize, whatever it might be? I would argue that if it's trying to do two opposite things, can it really do either of those as well as it needs to? My advice when it comes to choosing the best shampoo for you is choose the shampoo that suits your scalp and then choose your conditioner or mask and leave-in products based on what you want to achieve on the rest of your hair, on the mid lengths and ends and overall as a style. Now, when it comes to shampooing your hair, you don't want to be lathering the product up all the way down to the ends unless you've had heaps of hairspray or oil put through your hair. What you want to be doing is is focusing that shampoo on the scalp area using your fingertips to massage each zone methodically to make sure that you clean everything. One of my best tips is when you think you're done shampooing your scalp, spend an extra 30 seconds going around once more. It's a bit like cleaning your teeth. You've got to do it till you think you're done and then keep going for a bit longer. What that's going to do is it's going to stimulate blood flow to your scalp and make sure that your shampoo has really got to every area of your hair and cleaned it properly. If you do that well and your hair isn't super dirty before, one shampoo is enough, but it's always okay to do a second shampoo if you feel like the product hasn't lathered enough or if your hair doesn't feel clean. If you struggle with your hair never feeling clean and you're using a, a good quality shampoo that doesn't promise you too much, that is just about cleaning your hair and scalp and you still feel like it doesn't never feel clean, then doing two shampoos is for you. I always like to recommend a clarifying shampoo periodically for all of my clients to reset the hair. And that's literally a shampoo that is clarifying, lifting, removing everything and not delivering anything. Now, some of these can leave the hair a little bit tangly, especially if your hair is prone to tangles. But doing this periodically and following with your favorite conditioner will just give you that reset and allow your scalp to really be exfoliated. Remember, the shampoo is all about your scalp health and we would wash our face and our skin every single day, but we don't wash our scalp every single day. And that's okay because it's my view that we have to find the right compromise between the needs of our hair and the needs of our scalp. If you wash your hair every single day, that's often great for your scalp, but not so great for your hair because washing your hair comes with styling. However, even if it's better for your hair to only heat style it once a week and then therefore not wash your hair in between, that's not going to be great for your scalp especially if we're using styling products, dry shampoo, etc. The most important thing is no matter how often you shampoo your hair, make sure that when you do, you're doing it really well. That might mean doing it twice. That might mean those extra few seconds massaging all the way over your scalp. So this isn't to say that no shampoos that describe themselves as repairing or volumizing or moisturizing are good. Some of them work really well. But if you're having problems with your hair, Ask yourself this question, are you expecting too much from your shampoo?